Gracias. Muchas gracias. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Hey everyone, we're here at day two of Fanatics Fest. The doors just opened and it's already crazy packed. I can't believe how great yesterday was and how amazing today is gonna to be. I'm really excited to show you the activations. We're gonna rip a lot. We're gonna to talk to a lot of people and hopefully see some athletes. Yesterday we saw Dana White. Yesterday we saw Tom Brady, Grant Williams. It's been absolutely crazy. Don't forget Gronk slamming, spiking, I should say a slab on a showcase. This is what Cards has been missing. This is an incredible addition to the show. This is the art zone. And this is one thing that's super special to me because a huge part of Star Wars cards is the one-of-one -one artist sketch cards. It's a true one-of-one, -one, not a manufactured one-of-one. -one. And the best part about it is that you can connect with these artists on social media. It's way more than just a card. It's something that somebody drew themselves and put so much time and effort into and passion. A lot of these artists have a lot of great stories about their love for Star Wars or passion for Star Wars or their love of baseball and certain players. One specific artist who I'm very close to myself, who I've had on my Instagram before and interviewed is Angel Aviles. And he's here today and I'm really excited to introduce you to him and other sketch artists that have come and put on displays for us here at Fanatics Fest. Hey everyone, I'm here with none other than the famous in our Star Wars card community, someone who I consider my friend for uh, like a year or two now. I think so. Angel Aviles, Star Wars top sketch artist. Started in Star Wars, now has incredible pieces in baseball. How are you? How are you? <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> to meet you in person, finally, after all this time, I want to congratulate you on your success, and that's because you are a hard worker, you have a great personality, and above all else, your passion for the hobby is genuine, and everyone feels that, and so do I. Look, I got goosebumps. Look at that. They're real. They're real, um, because you're just an awesome person, and I want to say, it's a delight to have you in the, in the hobby. Thank you so much, Angel, and I feel the same way about you. When I reached out to you two years ago to be on my show because I loved your sketches so much and all I wanted to do was pull as many of them as possible when we were breaking every Friday, you immediately came on my show. We did an Instagram Live for everyone, and that was so great for the community. So you've always been a really receptive to to us who are fans of your art and that just goes such a long way and so special and I'm happy to have you in the hobby. So this is the Tops Chrome Hobby Fanatics Fest New York City exclusive. This is six Fanatics Fest exclusive big Apple refractors and one Cosmic Chrome swinging for the stars per box. People have been waiting in line for hours for this every day and so we're going to open the whole box. It's a ton of packs. You're not going to see all of it. We're going to make it super fast. That's the NYC exclusive, Uri Perez, Marlins, beautiful. Showed up, yes! No, it's numbered out of 150. I thought it was gonna be the special one. Casey Schmidt. Oh, let's go! That's a good one. Come on, Ellie! I smell it. Junior swinging for the stars, cosmic. That's a pretty beautiful one. Okay, so I'm here at the 40 yard dash. You get to have four competitors here, so I brought my friends. I brought Pally from Layton, Mary Gamble Gamble, and Jess breaks with Jess. So that's what's fun about coming to fest with your friends. You get to compete against them. So I want you to start your best now. Who's puking? Who's tripping? Who's tearing an ACL? <laughs> I promise you, like, you just shot out, and I was like, <laughs> you're so, like, I was like, I want to do that again, that start, I had the most terrible start, and then I felt, like, the wind running, and Mary just crept. Like out of nowhere, I was like, no! <laughs> I'm decky a little bit there, you know, the finish photo, only one in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> crazy! I'm not training hard enough. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we secured a Cactus Jack box. This is Fanatic's best. This just dropped. Steph, what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull a Travis Scott Super Fractor 101. Let's go. We're gonna rip this, let's go. So there's two packs and four cards per pack, so that means we each get one. This is so cool. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so I have color at the back, you and I think first. you have something at the back too. We've got a Tatis. He's a Yankee. That's great for me. Ready? Jadon Rookie. Wow. That is big. That's out of 25. That is big. You gotta Jadon sleeve that up. Rookie. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. You gotta sleeve that up. Of course. Pack. What is it? Yo, yo, Two yo, yo. Ten. Two of ten. Dude. Dude. Jazz. Whoa! an incredible box. Wow. You, I think you made money. I mean, it's not to say. The fact that I got Jade on, that is amazing. I'm here and I'm going to get my women's championship belt to wear tomorrow. You guys aren't even ready for tomorrow. Do you have a, a women's belt? The women's undisputed. Yeah, that's good? Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. And it's the last one. It's lucky. Thank you so much. There we go. She's gonna sign this tomorrow too. I have a photo op and an autograph that I purchased for Rhea Ripley and she's signing my belt tomorrow. We're here at day two and this is the finishing event of the Topps Hobby Hall. We have Jimmy from Roadshow Cards and Ryan from Card Collector too. And they're openly trading with people from the audience. So I think this is really amazing and incredible opportunity. Both Jimmy and Ryan have been stalwarts in the community of collecting for a, at least a decade. They have YouTube channels. So there are some people here in the stands that are doing trades as well. And we're just gonna ask them what they have in their case. I'm Stephanie, I have here. Grayson. Grayson, Grayson, where are you from? Maine. Maine. What brings you to New York City? Uh, the Fanatic Show Fest. How do you like it? It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. What's your favorite part? Probably like the activities over there. Okay, okay. So what are your favorite teams? Washington Capitals. Uh, okay, hockey guy. Yeah, and probably the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, Kansas City Chiefs. Who's the best player on the Chiefs? Uh, my opinion, I think Isaiah Pacheco. Okay, okay. Can I ask you to show us uh, some of your favorite cards in your case? Uh, shit. Probably these three right here. I got Patrick Mahomes, PSA 9. Um, Very nice. Aaron Judge, number 200. And Travis Kelsey, graded number to 99. Okay, so we're here at trade night at Fanatics Fest, and I'm here with Josh, Bonnie, Leo. What brings you guys to Fanatics Fest? Just we, all the sports, getting us involved, card, hobby, seeing all the extra stuff that he added to the show. Sports, sports cards are cool, of course, sports cards, so. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Okay, how long have you guys been collecting? A few years now, about four years, four or five years. A year? A year. On and off as a kid. Year year okay, okay. Dallas. Since Dallas? Yeah, yeah. Since Dallas, September. Since, Last since September? NFL season. You pulled up a Zion yeah. case already? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like, this is how I'm going to pick this hobby. Six months I'm traveling, I'm filling a Zion case. So, yeah. yeah. I, I love yeah. putting a lot of money into this hobby. Yeah. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> I lost a lot of money in this hobby. But we do it for the fun. What's your favorite show and how does this compare? To be honest, it's got to be this show. Not even it's not even for the video. I really think this show really in, outdid yeah, everything. In your order? It's up, it's up three for sure. For sure. Yeah. International now in Cleveland. We saw it was like, it was, it was an insane show, but this just... Right. It's got family vibes in here, which is cool, but it's also got the collective aspect, so it's nice. The difference with this show and other shows is the experience you have with athletes and celebrities. Other shows, is just like you see your cards, and just cards, you know what I mean? And then they have autos and whatnot, but the experience, you know, them. I saw some playing basketball, like the layup lines, you know, football, the 40-yard dash and whatnot they were doing. That was pretty cool, like the experience. You could shop for cards here and then go and enjoy the show, you know. It's not sports cards related. It's like a mental break. If you've ever been to the mental national... Break. You've been international, you know, you're going deal for deal for deal for deal. Here it's like, you go have a deal, go we'll have a fun, we'll have a fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll have a drink, you whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. The way I describe this place is Disney World for uh, sports park collectors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100, 100 percent. What's the best thing you guys have done so far on that side? So besides meeting the players and the pictures and all that, 
I honestly got to say, like the 40 yard dash, the shooting, it was cool just seeing everybody getting involved in the hobby. And it's nice to see these celebrities getting involved with the kids, not just staying behind security and everything. Like I saw a couple NBA players, they were shooting around with the kids. So it's awesome to see these high end guys staying with regular everyday people. Absolutely. I, I definitely feel those vibes. Did you pick something up? Yeah, I'm not gonna Did show you, you? picked up today, but I'll show you my heat. Oh, okay. Josh Allen, rookie, flawless. Jersey number. You bought that today? I got that today, yeah, oh, just wow. now, actually. Okay, what do you About think? What kind of season is Josh Allen going to have? I think he's the second best quarterback after Mahomes, for sure. I didn't pick this up here, but we're in New York, so I had to bring this out. Uh, Jalen Brunson, rookie, RPA out of 10. One out of 10, first on the print. It's only right the captain gets his little love in New York City, you know? Don't forget this guy's been collecting for three weeks. Oh, he has that kind of card, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cheap fan too, hold on. Uh, Wait, I'm going to collect, I'm going to buy a Jalen Brunson RPA. <laughs> Biggest pickup of the show, personally for me, because I'm a Lamar Jackson fan, this man right here just traded me this very nice white sparkle. Wow. Wow. PSA 10. That's a great card. Yeah, that's man, a rookie. That's a great card. That's, that's it. That's winning the Super Bowl. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's that's it. That's that's it. That's I put my money where my mouth is. Oh, yeah. I'm a Chiefs yeah. fan, too. Look. Okay, okay, okay. That's some heat right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We like that. No, no. He's the best. He's the best guy to collect. Yeah. Mahomes yeah. is safety. Mahomes is the big point of the hobby. The big Mahomes is the Bitcoin of the hobby. You buy him, you're safe. Yo, that yeah. shit fluctuates a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Well, you got to hold Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. You got to hold Bitcoin. Yeah. That's right. And it's like if you go back to like 2017, yeah, people were pulling your stuff like crazy. Can you imagine? It's cheap at the time. Yeah. It was, it's incredible how much it's cheap. Wow, this guy. Yeah, so. Six months. Six months. Like I said, like I said, I put a lot of money into this hobby. I lost a lot of money, but it's all about making memories. Absolutely. That's what it's about. Okay, would you guys agree with, uh, would you agree with me with one thing? This is the best hobby in the world? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. This, is the, this is the only hobby that you can go and buy the card for $100 and sell it five minutes later for $150. It's definitely up there. It's one of the best hobbies for sure. And make friends along the way. I've met a lot of people. Like this, this really took over my life. Like, I, like when I'm home, when I'm not, I'm looking at cards on Instagram talking to people. I met him through a card show. I talked to him every other day. It's like what you said. I really enjoy the fact that it doesn't feel like work. You know what I mean? You're having a good time, meeting people, making money, going live. So it's like you spend hours doing it too. Like yeah. kill hours, man. I went around the same showroom floor from 11 o'clock this morning. I saw the same exact cards, but I just keep going over and over again. It's okay. Do you guys have kids? Yes, I have two kids. Do you share this with them? Two kids. A Pokemon, yeah. No, okay. I have a little Pokemon section I collect with my daughter. My son's young still, but my daughter, I buy her. I bought her some stickers today, Pikachu stickers, and I try to buy her loose packs, you know, like, yeah, yeah, make sure yeah. ripped them home, and you know, yeah, Pokemon like you said, for the kids. You, you get to enjoy it with people and adults, and you get to share it yeah. with your kids? Exactly. Come on. This is the best interview of this, this whole thing ever. Anybody's channel right now. Fanatics Fest, one word. The word I gave earlier was fancy. Yeah, it's, uh, you walk in, and I mean, this is more than one word, obviously, I'm not very good at this, uh, but I mean, just when you walk in, it's just, breathtaking might be a better word, like, yeah. it's just, I remember walking in for the first time, and you see all the signage, and the glass, you know, the glass ceiling, you're like, this is insane, like, so, uh, there's a lot that come to mind, I said fancy earlier, breathtaking, just, it's, this is, this big, it's, this is different. The Javis is beautiful. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about 10xing the hobby in the past three years. Do you think this is the start of it? Have we seen starts already? What's your take on that? I think there was obviously high expectations for a show like this, right? Is it a card show? Is it a fan show? Is it for collectors? What 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 is this supposed to be? And obviously the experiential stuff right when you walk in is huge. So I think this is a great spot for you know fanatics to show the the fans that are here for those events oh hey this is you can collect cards of those same players and athletes and then you got Gronk spiking a card on our case oh my, right next to us and Brady's walking around and Jake Paul and Libby Dunn are walking around Fine like a Rubin and destroying we got to rip half of them on stage like you don't see that anywhere else and the fact that you can come here and get in the octagon and run a 40 yard dash and open packs of destroying and buy and sell cards that doesn't exist in the hobby, so this is definitely the start of 10xing it. And last, as a business owner in this industry, what does this show say for you and moving forward? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think this really talks about the future of the hobby is experiential, right? I think that's the way, what I take away from this is your average card show 
with 40 tables and in the same room doesn't really evolve a lot that might still happen but that's that's a thing of the past it's the card shows of the future are very experiential a lot of there'll be a lot of brands on display it'll be a lot of partnerships and collaborations they're going to be very very different going forward so i think the show scene will will continue to evolve and you'll have dealers like this but i think this and that is the experiential part is is a big piece of the future yeah two words new standard yeah i like that right Thank you. at least I try to convince Troy to paint his um, to dye his hair platinum blonde because he's gonna try to meet Cody Rhodes and he wouldn't do it but at the very least he's gonna do a fanatics live stream with me today I hope he's wearing like a wrestling shirt <laughs> oh my god that'd be amazing she just posted today she, she just posted she's at the gym right now strength is uh, earned not given I love that I was at the gym this morning too I was at the gym this morning, but I don't look close to what she looks like at all. You know what? I've only been working out for two years. Uh, I'll give myself five years. I'll look a little closer to Rhea Ripley. <laughs> They were on the Fanatics live stage. I don't know if uh, they're probably over there on that side. Who's your favorite wrestler? Cody. I don't know if I have a Cody, but I have a card to give you. You could actually choose between these three. Okay. Okay. How much do you love wrestling? The most? The most? Yeah. Oh, me too. You're amazing. So I have a Drew autograph. That one's numbered out of 10. I have a Jay Uso numbered out of 49. Our, or a Liv Morgan autograph out of 10. These I want the Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, there you what go, that's that? yours. Wow. Thank you. I would like to open a pack with you. Okay. Wow. Did you open this? Thank you. I actually do this for a living. I open cards for people. Okay. There you go. Oh, and next to Jackson. KO. KO. Oh, there's your boy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Lee and Ova Femi. Wow. So these are number cards in the back. You want to take wow. care of them? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a cool one. Look at that. I'll put them back in here for you. And I want you to say top or bottom. Top. You got yourself a Liv Morgan patch autograph out of 10. You like Liv? Yeah. You're not supposed to say that in front of me. <laughs> we'll, we'll take it this time. And this is for you, sir. This is the Jake So autograph out of 49. Oh, thank, you. Nice. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. you. Want to open a pack? Thank you. Well, thank you. And let's see what you guys get. Have you ever opened a pack of cards before? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Have you? Let's open your first pack of cards. Shall we start? China, Angela, Katana Chance, Luke Gallows, 
American. Cody Rhodes. Oh, Cody Rhodes. I also got that. That is a good one. Liv Morgan. That's a pretty valuable card right there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Remember, Mama's always on top. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a women's undisputed championship belt here and I just got it signed by Rhea Ripley. She wrote Mommy Loves Mama and signed it over here on this side. Now this is going to be something that I'm super proud to put in my office, in my brand new office that I'm moving into next month. It's going to be the centerpiece. I told her she inspired me to get strong, that I'm a mom of two and that strong is beautiful. This is what being a fan is all about fanatics fest i felt like a kid again from beginning to end i got to do some crazy stuff that i never thought i was going to be able to do and one of them being meeting somebody like rhea ripley i grew up my hero was china and she reminds me of her so much and watching her in the past three years and collecting her cards has been incredible and now having this piece right here getting being able to meet her at fanatics fest was amazing okay everyone so this was fanatics live this is sunday afternoon the end of the show i want to know what you thought about it in the comments please like and subscribe if you like the content or tell us what kind of content you want to see at fanatics fest moving forward i'm saying this is new standard for connecting for fans for bringing new collectors but even for collectors this fan experience was unbelievable for me specifically i, I can't speak for anybody else but you saw the cool things i got to do and i'm i'm going home really happy that i got to meet rhea ripley and really happy that i got to experience the things i did take a picture with dana white i mean i don't know if there's anywhere in the world where i could have done those things and i really love the show i mean look at what we're doing here in the outro we're standing right in front of jared blesnick and chad blesnick opening packs of cards with alan iverson he's chasing his rookie card right now that's just mind blowing so thank you so much for watching thank you for liking and subscribing